Greetings, everyone. Welcome back to Bowl Gran Turismo 4. Good. Everything's all set up. Running nice. Okay, so. What the heck were we doing last time? Oh, yeah. We're going to do the things. <sighs> Scuba. Let's check our tires, too. I'm not sure why this is a special. Oh, it's. Oh. Oh, no. Um. <laughs> no, I'm not running that Mustang in wet. Uh uh. No. Mm -mm. No. If there's one thing I know about my old Cobra, wet weather? Uh uh. You just. just dope. <laughs> That's just. No. Oh, no. Oh. So what do I run here? I guess we could take this out. You know, I'm going to put some uh, economy tires on this thing. So, yeah, I, I'm not buying wet tires. We're not buying wets because that's just kind of pointless in this. I think I can do it without them. I need economy tires. I mean, they don't cost anything, luckily, but I'm still going to buy them. Or, or at least get access to them. Oh, Steam, economy, comfort, road. Ah. Learn noise and ride quality and the effect of the grip in dry conditions is exceptional, making it possible to use No. Uh, increased gripping power aimed at car high maneuverability. Suitable for places where you drive at high pace through winding sectors because the rigidity of the sidewalls is also increased. Receive more flip if you have road surface. Paved roads it doesn't pursue maximum gripping and force, but also considers the comfort of road noise. Uh, we're gonna use I think I think I think the comfort ones are the way to go. Yeah, let's use these. I think these will be the way to go. These have got a lot more tread on them. You look at the tread pattern. See, this is gonna this is gonna dissipate water a lot more. Yeah, there's no wet tires in this game, so yeah, you want to go with these economy tires. And four wheel drive. Yeah. Oh yeah. Now, mind you, I could probably do front wheel drive. My two, my three, two, three would actually probably be good for that. But let's get over here. Let's use the old super room. Did not notice it said wet. Yeah, I am not driving a Mustang in wet weather. Oh no! Like even my Mustang coupe that had like these economy tires per se on them still slid around like it was on ice half the time. On this mess. So yeah, luckily I know this track. So this would be so bad. And look, there's a freaking GTR in front of me. So yeah, the four-wheel drive thing was definitely worth it. I'm probably gonna slide all over the goddamn place. He ran into me, dang it! Somebody wants to go fast! I don't care if we get a penalty. Oh, come on, he didn't wreck.
Well, that's cool if we win this thing already. gonna go a lot slower. <clears throat> hey, we did it. I'm gonna use the comfort tires. Five grand in the bank and another car in the garage. Booyah! All right, give me my car. Come on. Come on. Give me the car I want. Stop screwing around again. Give me the car I want. I know it's over here. Ooh. Oh. Well, I know where we could use that. We got the RX-8 cup we can go do. So let's go do that. Okay. I can give me an RX-8. I'll take that. Free RX-8. Save me 30 grand. So jump in that. Go do the RX-8 cup. And then he says before he has to go and dump $5 billion in an RX-8. You get to work right. <clears throat> to even state a chance. I like the RX-8. I wouldn't mind owning an RX-8. But is it the true successor to the RX-7? No. The RX-7 is far superior. <clears throat> but just like all the Mazda races done. Oh, no, no. Mm -mm. Oh, this is a championship event? What? Let's try it. Now, usually the concept car has more power than the actual production car. So this being a concept, it should be superior to the actual production car, but we'll see. These are all 03s. I've got the OG. That, 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 that's real stupid. Right. Please, car, be good enough to let me just, you know, be able to race my way to the front and I don't have to say dump, you know, 20 grand in this mess. Nine point race, okay, it should be, that should be okay. Should be plenty okay. That's definitely the older one they wanted to say. No spoiler on the back either. Well, these cars came with spoilers. Maybe the first gen didn't do that, but the second one did. Yeah, this thing revs. Ooh! This car is so freaking good! That was the power either. I mean, a rotary with like almost 300 horsepower, that's got some oomph to it.
Austin. Red like the first car I ever drove. Oh, this car's so fun. Oh, it's got the handling where the rear wheel section grip and turn it. Oh, oh, this is so good. You guys have no idea how fun this is. How the car actually handles. Like proper handling. Ah, uh, Moss is just the best. Screw you, Toyota Super Fanboys. This is where it's at right here. The skyline. Who gives a crap? Car's got a thousand horsepower to get turned. for giving me that RX-8. Now I can do another Mazda event. <laughs> We're going to make, what, 30 grand off of this stuff for winning that car? X-Race. I mean, we did great uh, on the wet race. I mean, I got a little behind there, but we made up for it. Got around the guy, won the race, won this beauty of a car. Now look good. Yeah, my biggest probably RX-8, no flip-up headlights. No. I'm sorry, that's something that needs to come frickin' back on car. Frickin' pop up a guy that ain't had one. Frickin' great. Pro had them. Hero had them. The Rubber Hero. The Miata started with them. The rear wheel kicking in and then Power out, man. Ooh, that's so much fun. Yeah, once you feel that rear end settle down this thing, oh, man. Right there. Good. God, this car is so freaking fun! It's got a good amount of power to it, but man, that rear end has got so much grip in it without having a spoiler on it. It's crazy. Oh, I have to. Only thing I wish I had was a better clutch. See, you just let off the gas in the rear end, just, just sags out and grips, and then you just power out. Down the throttle and get it going. There you go. Way away, baby. Honestly, it kind of handles like a pickup truck. Now, I know I'm talking about the stupid pickup truck, but because that thing, you know, it just feels like it's no power steering. You get no corner, and then you wait till when you feel it kind of hug in and dig in with the, you know, whatever side tire you have, you start, you know, steering it. However, you need to after the it's so good, responsive. It's like they put sports car handling on a truck. That's factor. It makes no sense because they've got a big leaf spring in the back of it. <laughs> this car is so much fun to drive. <laughs> The only time I've screwed up so far is when I failed to brake properly. Well, you don't even have to finish it here. See, it's my don't stick gear guy! No, it's, it's freaking four lanes. I'm good. Oh, the 
it's so good. How can a car be this goddamn good? Like, I knew the RX-8 was good, but holy crap, man. under 300 horsepower. Look at how well it's accelerated. There's always power. There's always power available. Oh my god. I did not realize RX-8 was this freaking good. I love my 7s. But man, I did not realize Mazda made the 8s freaking good. Watch you drive. Great car. Kind of thirsty. Right now, the way gas is, uh, the wheels are making boom. A little more draft. <laughs> oh, that okay, that's our first call. Okay, go back on. Okay, no speedy, but I'm driving right now. There's no room for you up here. <laughs> we'll be done shortly. We'll have a couple more short races. If you don't know much about a rotary, you've got to rev these things a lot. You don't really short shift them because they stall out. They don't have a lot of power at low RPM, so you got to kind of rev them kind of hard. Suzuka, and you've always got Suzuka. We did Laguna Seca, the first one. 
So we did Fuji. It'll be Sakuba, Suzuka, and oh, we did special stage. So yeah, we got two more to go. El Capit Capitone. This will really test the, the, the bugginess. Well, just slam me in the door, why don't you? Never mind, I'm sitting right here. Ba ba baby, love this track so well. Speed Demon. Bone stock guy that did not tune this thing, it didn't do anything, but like I said, a uh, constant car should be better. In this case, it seems like it is. Oh, I think you changed the oil on this thing. I forgot to do that. Eh, whatever. <laughs> well, that's not on. We're kind of brand new. Shouldn't need that. 
On to the last. What do we got? See, I told you Sakuba was going to be in here. Who's going to Sakuba or Sasuka? And it's Sakuba. Three laps are garbage. Oh. Every other track, here's two laps, here's two laps. Do three laps around the stupid place. The other car is kind of keeping up with me. Just gonna... We win, give me my money, give me my car, we'll call it a video. Give me my money. Yoink! That was 15,000. I thought it was 20,000 we got. Okay, that's fine. I'll take it. I'll take it. And what do we get? Some kind of RX-8 rally car, or race car, I bet. Which is cool, but it's not that cool. Or can it be the 787B? Eh, it's an e-race car. Alright, I mean, I'll use that. I'll definitely take that. Now we just have to do, to find ourselves a Miata worth of poop. And we can do that. So let's go check out our new ride. Shall we? But hey, we got some money, we got another car, the race is done, we should be just about that 25% now. 
Not so close. So close. 508 race car. Yes. All right, we're going to go ahead and change the oil in just to make sure we get it done. But yeah, no more Nissan 350. This is the, uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. This is it right here. Particularly like the livery on this thing, but man, green and red works. And it's just it's very similar to the 787 B. Just kind of hoping I win that, but this is good. This is good. So where could we take this if we wanted to do a thing? Pretty sure it's not allowed. Yeah, you know, production cars only. <laughs> Can't do it there, I don't know. Huh. Well, we'll save it for, uh, oh wait, what up Japanese? Are we done with these? No, I could go into this with it. Ooh. Mmm. That's smelling good right there. That's the last Japanese cup we're gonna do. Let's see. Now, I know in America we got some stuff to do, but what I'm gonna use for no, actually, we finished that. Okay, for European. Can't use this in it, but. I could use this. How much do I need? Oh, 400 grand for the freaking Cobra. Some of a biscuit. Want that car? You need that car. I will do the European stuff with that thing. Okay. Well, I don't think we got. I think we're done with the beginner stuff. Yep. Okay. So beginners done. We can't do extreme until we've completed all beginner and professional, and we can't do this to get twenty five percent. So it's back to the rally race car. Yep, back in, the, back in the saddle. So how much do snow tires cost? I think we can go ahead and do that and start getting some of the snow stuff done. Because eventually we're going to need to do that. Back to the turd shop. Grand too. We might as well get them. And that way we got them for when we want to do snow stuff. So now we can do snow stuff. And that we will do next time on Gran Turismo 4. So thanks everybody for watching. Thanks for watching me do some stuff. It was fun. Uh, you know what? Hang on. Check out the showrooms. Get rid of some new stuff. What do we have? Anything. TVR V8S. Meh. <laughs> now, my Ford Probe was from 93. And it was in white. But it did not have that much power. It had 115 horsepower. Because anything we get over here has to be neutered with Jesus in the bag. Is there anything else interesting? Nope. Let's check the showroom. I'm kind of wasting time here. Ugh, a 240S section of 90. Everybody's freaking stupid car. Alright. Is this another one of those snub nosed, ugly looking things? Yep. Ugh. 
Didn't I see what this was? Oh, sorry, this is their little tiny little hatchback looking thing. Stupid. That's stupid. Mercedes, why did you waste your time? Nobody bought that crap. You don't walk into a Mercedes dealership and go, I want something that's small and compact. <laughs> you don't do that. 99 XKR. Ooh, I do would like to have me a Jag. Oh, that's one of the good ones, too. Mmm, but it's 64 grand. I can't spend, I can't, no, I can't spend that kind of money. As much as I would love to have that. Ooh, here's one of the last, the RX-7s, the RSFD. 2000. See, they made, the, they made the RX-7 for a long time. They were just outlawed in America after 97. Because they were too fast, with many quotation marks around fast. But no, we we sell a 300 horsepower Mustang, you know. That <laughs> doesn't handle near as good. Oh, oh, one. Okay, here's another Bathurst racer. That's in blue. I like I do like a blue RX7. It works really well. But no, we don't need RX7. Stop looking at RX7s. What do we got over here? Oh, well, hey, Curl! Rear engine, rear wheel drive. You'll never see them things ever again. Went to Mazda's basement, probably. One more of those. Let's see, anything over here? That's kind of interesting. Let's roll up. Does this look like my buddy Opie's car? No, this wasn't a hatch. It was a flatback sedan. Karina. What the heck is this? That's a car that's a Camry. It's a night oh no wait, no, that's a luxury car. Okay. No, nothing interesting in there. Those are not, oh, there's a bunch of non-historic stuff. Alright, let's go home, let's save it, we're call it a video. I just love perusing the used car shop, because sometimes you find some cool stuff in there, like that Jaguar that I want. I'm not spending that money, I'm not doing it. I'm going to be able to say no.